Let's get started. Create a new composition. Press Ctrl N or go to Composition, click New. Rename it to Color 1. For this composition, I'm using 2000 by 2000 pixels. Frame per second is 30 and duration of this composition is 30 seconds. Click OK. Add a new solid layer to the timeline. Rename it to Black. Change its color to Black. Go to Effects and Presets. And add an Fractal Noise effect to this layer. Change contrast to 205 and brightness to minus 40.6. Press Alt button and click Stopwatch next to Evolution. Right. Time multiply by 30. Duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl D. Change its mode from Normal to Lighten. Change Fractal Type to Strings. Change brightness to minus 68.8. Go to Transform. Change scale to 71.8. Go to Effects and Presets and add Color Balance effect to this layer. Change Highlight Red Balance to 67. Go to Project Window and Duplicate Color 1 Comp. Now open the Color 2 Comp. Hide the visibility of bottom black layer. Again Duplicate Color 2 Comp. Open Color 3 Comp. Make the bottom black layer visible. And go to Effects and Presets. Add Color Balance effect to this layer. Change Highlight Green Balance to 67 and Blue Balance to 100. Go to Fractal Noise, Change Contrast to 100. Go back to Color 2 Comp. And go to Fractal Noise. Change Contrast to 100. Do it same for Color 3 Comp as well. Add a new composition and rename it to Particles. Size of this composition is 1920 by 1080 pixels. Click OK. Add a solid layer and rename it to Particles. Go to Effects and Presets. And add Trap Code Particular effect to this layer. Go to Emitter. Change Particles per second to 410. Change Emitter Type to Box. Change Position to 770, 540 and minus 2190. Change Velocity to 10. Change Emitter Size X to 4820, Size Y to 2100 and Size Z to 50. Go to Particles. Change Sphere Feather to 0. Change Size Random to 100%. Change Opacity to 22 and Opacity Random to 100%. Go to Physics. Change Gravity to 57. Open Air. Change Wind X to 128. Now add a camera layer to this composition. Change preset to custom. And change zoom to 317.50 mm. Go to camera transform. Change point of interest to 488, 73 and 0. Press alt button and click stopwatch next to point of interest. Right. Seed random 1. Wiggle 3 and 10. Copy this script. Go to Position. 
change position to 960, 530 and minus 2550. Again press Alt button and click stopwatch next to position. Right. Seed random 1. Wiggle 3 and 10. Press Alt button and click stopwatch next to orientation. Right. Seed random 1. Wiggle 1 and 1. Go to camera options. Change focus distance to 1422.22 and change aperture to 25.3. Add a new composition. Rename it to main one. Go to project window. And drag color one and color three comp to the timeline. Hide the visibility. Add a new solid layer and rename it to tau. Go to effects and presets and add a trap code tau effect to this layer. Go to Path Generator. Uncheck Generate Path. Go to Paths from Tau Lights. Check Size from Radius and also check Fractal Amp. Now add a light to the timeline. Rename it to Tau. Write Tau in capital letters only. Change light type to point. Change color to white. And intensity to 100%. Fall off should be none. Check cast shadows. And shadow darkness should be 100%. Go to light transform. Move timeline to zero frames. Click stopwatch next to position. Change its value to 1460. 1080 and 0. Now move the timeline to 300 frames. Change its value to 0. Go to light options. Move the timeline to 0 frames. Click stopwatch next to radius and fall off distance. Change radius value to zero. Easy ease the keyframe. Go to keyframe velocity. Change outgoing velocity influence to 90.85. Move the timeline to 220 frames. Change radius value to 100. Go to keyframe velocity. Change incoming velocity to 41.68 per second and influence to 18.90. Change outgoing velocity to 41.68 per second and influence to 25.30. Move the timeline to 260 frames. Change radius value to 300. Go to keyframe velocity. Change incoming velocity influence to 42.93. And change outgoing velocity influence to 33.33. Also change value of fall off distance to zero. Easy ease the keyframe. Now move the timeline to 300 frames. And change radius value to zero. Duplicate this layer, by pressing Ctrl D. Move the timeline to zero frames. Press U to open all the keyframes. Change position to 960, 1080 and 0. 
Duplicate this layer, by pressing Ctrl D. Press U to open all the keyframes. Change position to 460, 1080 and 0. Duplicate this layer, by pressing Ctrl D. Press U to open all the keyframes. Change position to 960, 1080 and 500. Duplicate this layer, by pressing Ctrl D. Press U to open all the keyframes. Change position to 960, 1080 and minus 500. Go to Particles Composition. Copy Camera Layer and paste it to Main 1 Composition. Add a new point light layer to the composition. Rename it to light. Go to light transform. Change its position to minus 580, 620 and minus 966.7. Go back to tau layer and to tau effect. Go to segments. Change segments to 300 and size to 80. Go to offset. Press Alt button and click stopwatch next to offset. Right. Math.cos, time, multiply by 10. Minus 10. Check offset position. And check offset rotations. Go to offset animation sequence. Activate offset animation. Press Alt button and click stopwatch next to position Y. Right. Math.cos, time, multiply by 100. Change O, A, S first to position. Go to repeat paths. Press Alt button and click stopwatch next to repeat world center. Right. Wiggle 0 0.2 and 400. Go to first repeater. Change R1 repetitions to 1. Change R1 world pose X to 1246. Press Alt button and click stopwatch next to R1 world pose random. Right. Wiggle 0 0.1 and 600. Change R1 world rotate X to minus 5.9 and Z to minus 18.5. Press Alt button and click stopwatch next to R1 segment pose X, pose Y and pose Z. Right. Wiggle 0 0.2 and 300. Press Alt button and click stopwatch next to R1 segment pose random. Right. Wiggle 0 0.2 and 400. Change R1 path offset to 3. Go to second repeater. Change R2 repetitions to 1. Change R2 world pose Y to 0 and change pose Z to 1500. Press Alt button and click stopwatch next to R2 segment pose X, pose Y and pose Z. Right. Wiggle 0 0.2 and 300.
Press Alt button and click Stopwatch next to R2 segment pose random. Right. Wiggle 0 0.2 and 400. Change R2 path offset to 3. Go to Fractal Displacement. Change Fractal Type to Multi Smooth Ridge. Change Amplitude to 300. Change Frequency to 30. Press Alt button and click Stopwatch next to Frequency. Right. Wiggle 0 0.1 and 10. Press Alt button and click Stopwatch next to Evolution. Right. Time multiply by 20. Again press Alt button and click Stopwatch next to Offset X. Right. Time multiply by 90. Press Alt button and click Stopwatch next to Offset Y. Right. Time multiply by minus 120. Change complexity to 10. Go to material and lighting. Change specular to 60. Go to image based lighting. Change built-in environment to industrial room. Go to texture. Change color texture to color 1 layer. Change normal map to color 3 layer. Go to shader. Change shader to smooth. Change UO intensity to 30. Go to world transform. Change world position to 960, minus 180 and 500. Go to rendering. Change super sample to 9x. Change render mode to depth normalized. Turn off depth of field. Go to project window. Duplicate main 1 comp. Open main 2 comp. Go to Tau layer and to Tau effect. Go to rendering. Change render mode to full render. Again go to project window. And duplicate main 2 comp. Open main 3 comp. Delete color 1 layer and drag color 2 layer from the project window to the timeline. Hide its visibility. Go to Tau layer and to Tau effect. Go to texture. Change color texture to color 2 layer. Go to material and lighting. Change ambient to 200. And diffuse to 200. Go to image based lighting. Change built in environment to diffuse only.
add a new composition and rename it to main4. Go to project window and drag main2 and main3 comp to the timeline. Change the mode of main3 comp to add. Now add a new composition. Rename it to final. Add a new solid layer. Rename it to BG. Go to effects and presets and add for color gradient effect to this layer. Change point 1 to 864 and minus 316. Change its color to 112, 23 and 33. Now change point 2 to 984 and 764. Change its color to 120, 5 and 22. Change point 3 to 544 and 1204. Change its color to 300, 75 and 14. Lastly change point 4 to 1632 and 1100. Change its color to 240, 44 and 22. Go to project window and add main 1 comp to the timeline. Now add main 4 comp from project window to the timeline. Go to effects and presets. Add FL depth of field effect to this layer. Change depth layer to main 1 layer. Change radius to 40. Change focal point to 39.25. Change select depth to 724 and 176. Go to highlights section. Check enable. Change highlight intensity to 4. Change lightness start to 150. Go to project window and drag main 3 comp to the timeline. Change its mode from normal to add. Add fast box blur effect to this layer. Change blur radius to 10 and iterations to 1. Duplicate this layer. Again duplicate this layer and change blur radius to 80. Again go to project window and add particles comp to the timeline. Add a new solid layer and rename it to flares. Add optical flares effect to the timeline. Change the mode of the layer from normal to screen. Change position X and Y to minus 136 and minus 80. Change brightness to 220. Change color to 165, 24 and 97. Click options. Delete all stacks except global parameters and glow.
Go to Editor. Change Lens Texture to Messy. Click OK. Add an adjustment layer to the timeline. Rename it CC. Add an curve effect to this layer. Change its color channel as per your need. Now again add an adjustment layer to the timeline. Rename it to Glow. Change its mode to Screen. Again add Curves effect to this layer. Change its RGB channel. Now add fast box blur effect to this layer. Change blur radius to 80 and iterations to 1. Duplicate this layer and change blur radius to 160. Check repeat edge pixels for both the layers. Now play this animation. That is folks for today. I hope you like my video. If you like the video, please click the like button. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to it. Thank you and have a nice day.